I'm uh, Kennedy Jones from Vigor. I make bass music for the masses. <laughs> Bass music is mentioned in my biography, and to me, bass music means a little heavier style of dance music, but it, as it's evolving right now, the reason I like the trap, quote-unquote, scene, it's not so much just dubstep anymore. Uh, it's all kind of blended together, and I think bass music is more just about heavy intros, of course, but shock value, very dynamic music. It's not so much expected. I've been producing for about two and a half, three years. Um, all in all four years of really, really diving into it. Once I started doing it, it made me understand that it's more of an art form than anything. I use FL Studios as my DAW. My go-to uh, VST is massive, usually. I use KRK8 monitors and Mackie 8 monitors in my studio, and then an Axiom 49 uh, MIDI controller. So as a DJ, uh, CDJ 2000's Pioneer Mixer, I came from hip hop, so for me, um, you know, being able to use an MPC-based type tool to design and create dance music on stage and be able to freestyle and rap over it uh, is something that I'm really interested in doing. I met Borgor a few years back. He was playing a show, and I was actually emceeing at the time. Most recently, my good friend, who is also my manager, did press for his tour and then became tour manager and started floating him some of my music. And uh, he knew us through our old company, through US Dubstep, and he really appreciated that culture. Really hit it off as good friends. The first week he moved here to Los Angeles, we hung out and got to know each other, and, and pretty much the crew has been inseparable ever since. How I picked Suavemente, or where my idea for that was, uh, I never heard any other song that made me want to dance. That's the one song, Next to Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks, that will make anybody want to get up and, and just dance. Garth Brooks' song will make you want to sing. This song makes you want to dance. Suavemente. And so, for me, I thought most properly to remix a song that's an actual dance classic. I had the idea when I was doing dubstep and I just thought it wasn't ready for that. But to be able to have a genre come about that you can keep it so simple, chop up a couple vocals, put an 808 there and make people still want to dance in a new way, that was exciting for me. The fact that uh, big DJs are playing my songs is uh, incredible, man. I feel really blessed. It's more the fact that so many people react to that DJ playing it. That's my excitement. That's I feel blessed to be a part of that. And, to see, you know, to have people come to me and say, you know, Suavemente Remix is the anthem of Ultra. Like, those are big words. Songs like Levels and things like that have been anthems of festivals. So, for me, uh, it's just, it's a really big blessing and it's also really inspirational. I mean, I've worked for a lot of years in this town on music and so to be able to come in and have, as a producer, that kind of love from other DJs is just is awesome. <laughs> What's my take on the trap movement? Um, I think it's just like any other genre that rises and uh, hopefully it doesn't fall. I mean, for me, I think that people are misconstruing trap. The way I interpret the trap scene is um, really wide open. It's not so much cons uh, constricted to 808s and drum rolls and whatever people are saying it, it involves. It's an open format genre, which means I make trap music, quote unquote, but I have songs that are breaks at 140 that just have an 808 and people are like, that's trap. So it brings back the EDM to the EDM world. And so with trap, it really just gives an opportunity for people to understand uh, and hear you know, a difference in music. I don't think it's going anywhere for quite some time, uh, but I think if it does, just like anything else as a producer, remain versatile and everybody will stay around. What's up, Kennedy Jones from the Bygor Camp and you're watching DJ City TV.